Hello guys, it's Rock8 today with another invention. It's a 3x3 bird door. I opened it up, made it yesterday, I think, I don't remember pretty well. But uh, I'm invited to the ID Center server. I'm pretty happy, I'm going to play on that. But first off, I will uh, show you this. So, what is a bird door? It's a door that you can open with a redstone torch. Place it somewhere? No, no, place it on the door. Like this. Bam. If you can see, I'm in survival and the new snapshots. So, I'm not cheating anyway. So, what have I got? Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys. Snapshot has a few problems. Um, the stone press plate don't, don't work. So, let's quickly just change those. Snap. Walk on this, like I came from here, walk back like here, three three slides. How do I go back outside? Stand here, keep walking, and voila, it's closed again. So, uh, it's, I think, 12 by 7 by 4. So, believe me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four. I think I like it. One. Yeah, don't count those blocks because there's nothing inside. There's no even a piston in there. So, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, this red wire is the main wire. If you like, okay, let's update the system. If you power this wire with a button signal, not longer, not shorter, it will also just reset. So here I have a glass model with a, um, a redstone, no, what did I say, with a lamp, and if I take a button, actually anything that updates that piece of the piston will work. So when pushing this button, I will give a redstone signal so it will still work. That's pretty cool for adventure maps, I think. Like a wall, button, press it, door opens. So, you can see it like here. Oh, yeah. It broke. Let me fix that. You can see it closing. It's pretty quick. As you can see, it was smooth animation. You can have the smooth animation, or you can have the fast one. It's this one. Oh. And this. You will see it. It's not so smooth. Oh yeah, this is not the perfect fast one, but it's a faster one, and this is a smooth one. So it has four circuits, four main circuits. So let's see here. I will give now a tutorial. So now let's start with the tutorial. First thing we're going to need is pistons and it has our basic sandstone block because I um, want to make it out of sandstone. So first thing we're going to do is place the pistons. The first three pistons will be here. Make those blocks with block of choice on top. Next ones will be here. Next ones actually just copying the other side. Like a mirror, like this, and then final top piston, like, oh, like this. So that are the basic pistons for the door. The middle one is a little bit special, so let's start with first making a door piston extender that will bring up the piston here and also retract. That's this piece. So then uh, let's remove not using blocks. Just this. <coughs> so this is basic piston setup. So now I will start with the green circuit or actually butt circuit. Okay. Don't misconcept it. Um, so let's place it here. This one is for putting those. This we're putting. A complete top piston extender, and it's like that. 
Now, wiring those up is just quite simple. Let's take uh, redstone. Everything down here what you should need. Let's take everything you should could need. Um, redstone here, here, and the repeater here. Normally, no. Oh no. <coughs> I have. Oh sorry, I forgot one piston. It's a piston right here. And what does this piston do? Actually, so it's bothered. Updating this one will update all this piston, inclusive this one will tell in what state it is. So, then, put the third one, like this. So now, we only need to update one piston to activate this. So, the piston we're going to update is this one. To do that, we'll have to go with redstone here, block below. That's a torch, short filter, going up to a block like this, and this will update this one. So now, actually, the hardest part is, yeah, not the hardest, but one of the parts is done. So when I now take a button, I should see, like this. So now you can see this one is extended, and when I do this, everything instantly retracts. So now, um, if let's look, oh yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll start with second circuit, it's blue circuit, to activate all of the basic pistons. So, and this one is down. I well, actually don't need green anymore. When this one is down, we should activate all the pistons. It goes through here, to a block, from the right, yes. Um, I will be thinking how to do it. I'm a little bit ill, but no worries. Oh yeah, like that. Was a torch here, block on top, because this one is actually already activated. It doesn't matter that this one will go on, and this will power up a piston, like right on here, kind of like this, here. I will first make the fast one. Ho oh, oh. ho! So like this. Um, then here, this again. The other side. So I think that's it for this side. I'm gonna need sensor slabs. So now. Here oh. and start with slabs. Easy way to do that is just make two pillars and stop pulling slabs. Here, here, here. Wait a second, I'm thinking. Yeah. Block here, repeater on that, torches are uh, right still here. The torch up here. Oh, yeah. Just try to okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Redstone here. Redstone. A block. Top. Like this. And normally. Oh, uh, we can put this down. It should work now. So pressing this button will actually flip the door. Uh, why is this activated? Oh, shit. So now it's closed. Pretty easy. Don't shift. This will happen. You can see it, guys. Not good. <coughs> Next circuit it will be the red one. Choose red because it's the difficult one. It's the biggest. So we'll need to power those pistons here. So let's do this debug. Not going to do it with torches, going to do it with repeaters like here. On two. Power those, go for the box here, and we're already activating those. Just on one. So I'm deactivated, this box comes back up, and we'll take a signal from this, make a short pulse. Oh, I can do that actually. Redstone here. 
So it's third pills, first pills. Next one will be back here. This will be this uh, here. Block on top. Repeat room three. Then last stick, but then needs three ticks. Here, so we'll take an F to the tree, take this, and do this. So I activated this, so let's uh, check it out. We'll leave it on this. Now we only need to power those. Doing that, we use the block here block on top so it can't interfere. This block will activate this one. And that one will update this one because it's diagonal. It will activate that also. Power that, like here. That's if you remember if I, it was opening, you can see this one do it again. That's because of it's powering like right here. So this one two if I remember well. Two here I'll need a piston. Oh this is now not going to be tracked. On three, and this one can be like so. And again, the pillar for it to go up. Actually, this is it. This is it, actually. Bolivian? Voila, this is it. But remember, fresh plates. Optional circuit, right? Or required, but still pretty cool, I think. Yeah, you don't have to reset it mainly. You only have to really start, walk in, it's done, walk out, don't have to do anything else. So, place those here, take our fresh plates. On here, take the signal from them, like here. Now, uh, if I remember well, I have a repeater here. So, to open it, we should just update this one. How do I do this? Like this. Because it's activated, I only have to update this piece. So, uh, let's activate it. Yeah, but let's have it. The step on the splash plates will update this block at red sun, so attract. Um now after that we will go here again repeater because remember this one should have some delay for it uh, closes again. I think yeah repeater here and a torch here. Now we will need to create a short pulse to create Perfect button signal. So we'll take that for here. Now here, this piece. Yep. Three, four, four. A block here. Block here with redstone on. Uh, bring it here. Oh no. Beta. Go around the corner. Like this. Why am I not? Direct the touch here, we'll update that one. And we'll activate this. We'll interfere a little bit. Not too big, but yeah, I can do it, but I like it this way. Now, put a stick piston here. Start my this. Um, take the sand. No, we need the sand. Hold the pillar up here. So now, Power this one, we'll do it like this. Torch on top. Now we take four tick pulls out of here. So we get four ticks in here. Then lengthen it, three ticks, so like this. Four ticks plus three ticks make seven ticks like a button. So complete it. So now we can fill up this. This, make it closed. Fill it up quick. It's not that hard, I think. It's not quite that much materials. Almost done. Let's make a little 
spot here and let's test it. Let's start it manually. So okay, sit in here, touch, walk through, close again, look here, keep walking. Oh yes, bam. Um if you want the smooth one, we'll have to put this one on three, this one on four. So one, I'll have to have this into a block, like this, this one also in a block, this one in a repeater, on two, this one, okay, it's two, and this one one. We can't make this one, because there's not enough place. We can't, actually those two, then this one, then this one, then this one, and alright, so now, Activate it, you can see it. Voila! It's uh, actually the only thing you have to do to make it like that. So, I hope you guys like this episode. More is always coming. Um, for the ones wondering, what the hell is ID Center? It is as a B server whitelisted. They sent me a request to join them. I already joined them, played a little bit, get some ores because. Noticing from myself, I watch a lot of videos. I see that like cutting down ours and mining and everything, it's a little bit boring. So I thought like I would skip that. So I already did that. Got some diamonds. Pretty happy about that. And actually not to do anything at the base. So that's for probably tomorrow or over two days. Because I'm not now going to upload loads of videos because they ask me to. And I'm happy to join them. So, see you guys next time. Zark out.